All right, so I got to show you this, my newest toy. I have to do some post hole holes around the property and put some plants in. I usually get a post hole digger and I dig it out. So I was looking online for a gas one and they're about $170 all the way up to 300. If you want a four stroke engine, it goes up to six, seven, eight hundred dollars And then I saw an electric one for 150 bucks on Amazon. And I watched some videos on people that had these electric augers and I said, man, I got to try that for 150 bucks. So I bought one. I just got it in and you got to see this thing. I just tried this. I have a, a uh, trash can full of road salt when in the winter time when the trucks uh, salt the roads they usually dump some extras on the side of the road so I pick it up and I've had this salt all, all year and it got some water in it and it hardened up like concrete take a look at this right here right here this whole thing was hard like concrete I was getting ready to take this whole thing and throw it away and start off fresh the next year but I got my auger in and I drilled a hole in there and it went right through but I got to show you this now I don't know what brand this is it says Stark on here but I don't remember buying that but they're all the same it's a 1200 watt 1200 watt and it comes with a four inch bit and this is what it looks like and there it is right there and you just plug it in now I went and did buy a 12 inch bit this is the biggest bit they have and this thing is huge and there's the, the, the cutting blade there, but this thing is huge. I haven't tried this out yet. I'm going to try it out in the grass, but take a look at this thing. It's pretty light. I mean, the motor housing is a little bit heavy on there, um, and all I did is plug it in. So if you have an extension cord that can go around your whole property, um, this thing is, is pretty quiet. Now, right there, look where that bit's going to hit. That's that hard stuff right there, and I'm going to show you what this sucker can do. Now this is the four inch bit and it's got some nice handles. You hold it on here and then right here you just push this button and squeeze that trigger. And I have a generator, a Honda generator, and I can put the generator on my wagon and, and just pull that around. But watch this bit go right in here. Look at that. I'm, I barely pushed. Now I know it, it, it's, it's just salt, but it was hard. I was smacking it with a chisel and a hammer to try to get some pieces off like this when I wanted to throw it around my driveway. And I had to get a hammer and a chisel to bust that up. So, so far, this thing is pretty cool. So, there you go. And I'll give you some updates on what this does in the ground when I start putting some holes in the ground for some plants or, or fencing. All right, YouTube, here it is. I'm going to do an actual review of this thing. I'm going to try and dig some holes. Now, the whole purpose of me getting this electric one is because in my regular home here I can run an extension cord anywhere on this property a big long extension cord and dig holes anywhere I wanted to so I didn't need to buy a gas auger this one is the electric one and my theory is with my Honda EU 2000 that's a 2000 watt generator I should be able to plug that gener the uh, auger into that generator with a little extension cord and drag it around anywhere I want and I could run it without running the extension cord. So when I go to the farm, I can put that generator in the back of my UTV and drive anywhere I want. And just with the electric cord from the buggy, I can just dig a hole without having to mix gas and then put fuel stabilizer in it over the winter time. I'm just figuring that little gas one might be easier for me um, without having gas cans everywhere. But what I'm gonna do now is start up my Honda plug it up and I'm going to try to drill a hole with the four inch bit and then with that big 12 inch bit and see how it does. Now I brought my tape measure out here and I'm going to show you the length of this. And I'll tilt this down. Okay, so this is the four inch bit. And the four inch bit, you can dig 30 inch holes. 
this one. This is the 12 inch bit. And that's probably gonna be the same thing. Well, a little bit less. It looks like maybe 28 inches. And it's only held in with a little cotter pin. So if you're wondering how you change these bits, it's not very difficult at all. Look right there, it's just a, a little cotter pin that just pushes through. And that, that's all that holds it. Well, let me start this up. So I got my extension cord. Plug this in. Tie this on. And we're gonna try and dig some holes. Let's see if this thing starts up. The Honda. First pull. Is that great or what? Let me tilt it up a little bit so I ain't gotta bend over. Maybe right there in front of that wagon. Alright, I just picked up any spot in the yard to dig this hole. Now, full disclosure, it is March, so this ground is wet, it's soft. I don't know how this drill would do, this auger would do in the middle of winter, August, September, when your ground is rock hard. So I can't try that yet. But let's see what it does in March. Because that's probably when you would plant stuff anyway. Or dig holes. Who wants to do it when it's 100 degrees out? Now, nice handle here. And on this side, that's your trigger. And it has a little push button. You push the button, and it's turning. Well, it's working. And you can hear the Honda generator, it'll, the RPMs on the generator kick up higher to give you more power. So it has, they call it an eco mode on it. So that on the generator, it runs at a really low RPM to use less fuel. And then as you draw more watts or amps, whatever one it is, out of the generator, it kicks up higher. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear me well, but just watch me dig this hole, I guess. So four inch bit, just any spot in the yard. Let's see what it does. That was probably the easiest hole I ever dug. Now I did notice when I was drilling that hole, did you see the cord at the bottom? That's one thing I guess you gotta really watch is where your extension cord. Throw that extension cord right out of the way so it don't get tangled up in that bit because it was, it looked to me, it looked like it was hanging straight down below my leg. So when you're running an electric one, watch out for your cord. So let me, let me in real time without editing, let me see if I could take this bit off and put the 12 inch on. Now let's look at this, let's look at our hole real quick. I got my tape measure. So I, I only went down 22 inches. It could go 30, but I didn't I didn't push it all the way down in there. I could have. I guess I could have pushed it in further. And there's still some dirt down in the bottom of the hole that I didn't pull all the way out. So it probably went maybe 25 inches or something. I could have pushed it in a little bit further. You probably saw it better on the video. All right, let's try to switch this up. I'm just bending this cotter pin straight. Boom! Okay, that was a bit change. How long did that take? Okay, right next to it. Now, this time I'm gonna move my cord the heck out of the way. Make sure that stays out of the way. All right, 12 inches.
Okay. My thoughts with that is you saw it jumping around and skipping, trying to bust through the side, got through the grass. Once it got through the roots of the grass, then it started biting down into the dirt. And every once in a while, I could feel it like hit a little rock or something, and it kind of like bounced around. It wasn't really difficult. I just kind of held it, keep it in the same spot. But I'm going to tilt up and let's look at that hole. Can you see that hole? That is a that is a really pretty hole. So that I'm pretty impressed. I don't know if I could dig a hole that perfect by hand. So what did it do here? We got a perfect 12 inch hole. And now that time I took it down 22 inches. So that's 22 inches deep and 12 inches round. Let's see if I can jump in there. Oh, I squished down further, so it, it went deeper than that. That's me in the hole right here. Yeah. So right about here, to me, when I was standing in it, that's 25 inches. So after I sunk that dirt down, it was 25 inches. So, if you got a UTV and you don't want to mess around with a gas auger, and I'm guessing it might be heavier to, heavier to hold in, than that one, because that's just that little electric motor. That's all the weight right there is that little electric motor. And you could put that generator in the back of your UTV with a little 12 foot extension cord and pull right up to any hole you want to dig for trees or fence posts or whatever you want. So I'm kind of impressed. Yeah, I I, th I would say it works. So anybody interested in an earth auger, I don't know if it would work for ice, but for an earth auger, if you just want to drill some holes around the property and not spend a whole bunch of money, you just throw your electric cord out there. It'll it'll definitely it'll definitely dig it in March when the ground's kind of wet, not hard as a rock. Um, the bigger the bit, it looks like it would be take take more energy to get that hole dug, but a four inch bit, I don't think that was any problem at all. It dug it right down in there. So that's the review with the electric auger, the 1200 watt auger. I would give it a thumbs up for 150 bucks so you don't have to go around with a post hole digger and you can see my fence. And there's a lot of those I gotta fix all the time and all my little trees that I plant everywhere and all those, man, that took forever to dig all those. With this little four inch bit, I could have went wow, wow, wow and dug all those holes and been done in five minutes. So definitely worth it.